said, my father spent a year in Siberia during Stalin's reign in Birabidzan. Birabidzan. That's close. That's close as I was going to get. I'll tell that story in Toastmaster sometime. Here. Thank you, Pete. Well, because of your performance, I don't have to be a touch on call here. Excellent, excellent job. Uh, quick question. If anyone after the last meeting picked up any dry erase markers or a mechanical pencil, <coughs> please see me after the meeting. So as a general evaluator, I talk about both the general context of the meeting and also about the evaluations. I'll start with the evaluations. Uh, Julie's evaluation of Bob, I think, Julie, you could have focused a little bit more on, uh, on the use of notes. Uh, to me, that was the only really major problem in, in your speech was the use of notes. I think the type on your notes was small enough so that you had to look down like this, exaggerating a bit, but you had to look way down to read the, and you sometimes stumble over reading the word because you couldn't really see it that well. Should be a huge typeface, my my opinion. You know, you don't have, and I saw that your list was a very long list, but you only read a few items from it. So you could have edited that and used the same one sheet of paper for five or six items instead of 15 items and made them in, with space between each line and typeface twice as big, it would have worked out better. And um, speech evaluation for Rob by Aileen. Uh, it was a very good evaluation. It was a difficult to evaluate this speech because it was such a good speech, and you said that. And then what can you say after that? Uh, uh, I have a feeling, and Rob can correct me if I'm wrong about this, he had two hours to produce this speech. Now, I'm willing to bet that he wasn't producing yet out of nothing. That he, he is a professional speaker, and if you're a professional speaker, you have to have a bunch of things that you know cold, and if you're called to say something, you can jump in and say that. So I'm guessing that Rob has delivered a speech similar to this before, and that that is why he's able to do such a great job on such short notice. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. <clears throat> Next up is Robert, who's going to do the upcoming schedule. Okay, um, before I begin, Mary Alice, you would say something about not being here. What's that? You would say something about not being here uh, the next couple of weeks. Uh, I'll be here. Okay. All right, so I'll put you down as timer next week. Timer. And Sajid Alams, Peter, Drash. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, video, Brendan. Yes. Uh, President Rob. Yes. Uh, Postmaster Chris. Yep. Um, Romarian Echo. Sorry, next week I wouldn't be here. You won't be here? You will be here. No, I wouldn't be here. Okay. Alright. Um, Mary Alice will switch you to the grammarian and we'll get a time. Okay. Grammarian for, for me next week? No, no. 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 Mary Alice Mary is the grammarian for next week. Uh, yes, yes. Okay, thought joke. I got down hobby. Uh, uh, first 
speaker, I get Peter Fordham. Yes. Yes. Um, first evaluator, I got Bob Avalon. Sure. Um, second speaker, I got Rich. Okay. Uh, his evaluator, I got Brendan. Yes. Um, table topics, I got Leslie. Um, GE, I have Julie. Okay. Alright. And subs? Who doesn't have a role? Rob? Well, I'll be a sub. Okay. Mickey? Okay. Now I have the next week too. I have next week after that because I won't be here next week. So you I'll won't be here on the 25th? Right. So, so we're now going to do August 1st now? Yeah. I made a mistake. I won't be here the 25th. I got mixed up. All right, so we've got subs and uh, Mickey, thought Joe. All right. For for July 25th. Right. For the next week. Right. Okay. Um, starting again, we'll leave the timer out. Uh, Peter Ash, we've got you for Sergeant of Arms for eight, what is the date? Eight, eight, well, the first of August. Eight one. Yes. yes. Okay. And the second, uh, Rob, we have you still as president. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and we have to have you as the Toastmaster that day. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And Peter Ash, I have you as a grammarian. Grammarian? Yeah. Okay. Um, Chris, I have you as Thought Joe. Sure. Okay. Um, Julie, I have you as the first speaker. Oh. And um, Mickey, I have you as a evaluator. Uh -huh. Okay, that's on August 1st. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Kai is the second speaker. speaker. I have Peter Aft, Fordham is evaluator. No, I won't be here. Okay. Can I take that because I'm going to be gone mid-August? Absolutely. I was going to ask you about that. Um, table topics, so I have Kai's. Sure. Okay. Um, GE, Avi. What? What did he say? A1. Okay. I thought I was GE. You are, but that's... Um, not for that week. I have you down as a first evaluator for June. No. Yeah, she just said to me to You want to say the date well, and then, then what you're talking about. It's two okay. separate weeks. Okay. Two different weeks. Yeah. We're now talking about Thursday, August 1st. Yeah. yeah. And for um, the 25th, I have you down as thought, Joe. Yes, I have that. But okay. August 1st, I have GE. I hadn't gone there. I don't know how you had Oh, that's okay with me. Yeah. So you're the evaluator for Julie. Uh, okay. On August 1st, Mickey, you're the evaluator for Julie. Okay. Okay. And how do you do the GE? Okay. Okay. All right. So we, I think we've got everything covered, uh, except subs on uh, August 1st. Who doesn't have a role on August 1st? You don't? Okay. I have one, yes. Yeah. Okay. And we also need a timer for next week, right? Yeah, we can do it then. Okay. Yeah. I think I've got everything. Okay. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you.